Hello everyone, thank you for joining us on OG TV News at noon. I am Ido Fabadu and let's quickly remind you that we are streaming live on our website www.ogtv.com.ng slash live. You can also follow us on our social media platforms. As part of efforts to improve research, innovation and make Nigerian tertiary institutions globally competitive, the National Universities Commission, NUC, has unveiled its plans to promote biomedical research in the country. Deputy Executive Secretary of the Commission, Dr. Suleiman Yusuf, made this known while addressing journalists at the inaugural Nigeria Diaspora Biomedical Research Program held in Abuja. Yusuf noted that the Commission is working with Nigerians and non-Nigerians in the diaspora to provide the needed to build the Nigeria University system to promote biomedical research outcomes essential for national development. That this summit is taking place at a time that biomedical scientists are doing everything possible to produce a vaccine for the novel coronavirus COVID-19. This initiative is in line with our revitalization efforts to make Nigerian universities globally competitive. Now, of course, other efforts in this regard include the collaboration with Third Fund to support bankable research proposals with funding, as well as our collaboration with industry under the auspices of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group. Speaking further, Dr. Yusuf stressed that the objective of the event is being laid for biomedical scientists in Nigeria to build their capacity and take pride of place in national building, supporting the economic development of the country and provide solutions to numerous health challenges facing the country. Nigeria has recorded 790 new COVID-19 cases the highest in a single day, bringing its total infections to 26,484. This was confirmed on Wednesday night by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, in a tweet via its official handle. Given a breakdown of the cases, the NCDC noted that the five states with the highest number of infections were Delta 166, Lagos 120, Enugu 66, Edo 60, and Ogun 43. Others included Kano 41, Kaduna 39, Ondo 33, Rivers 32, Bayesa 29, Imo 20, Kwara 18, Oyo 11, and Abia 10. Meanwhile, states with fewer cases include Benue 6, Gombe 4, Yobe, Bochi, and KB each recorded two cases. On a positive note, 406 more patients have been successfully treated and discharged from the isolation centers in various parts of the country. This brings to 10,152 the number of people who have been discharged so far. Although 13 more patients lost the battle to COVID-19, the NCDC had put the country's death toll from the disease at 603. The Ogo DigiClass assessment test has recorded success with over 17,000 participants from both public and private schools across the state, where we are at Adu Duota local government at the highest number of 2,423 attempts. This figure was disclosed by the head of the assessment team, Mr. Olalekon Adieko, during a performance assessment meeting with stakeholders held at the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, chaired by the Special Advisor to the Governor on Primary and Secondary Education, Mrs. Ronkesho Yombo. The assessment traffic situation showed that about 8,010 public school students and 9,365 students in the private schools participated, while 809 students from other states of the country took part in the exercise. Speaking at the meeting, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Mrs. Abosedi Ogunleye, and Director of Information Teaching Service Commission, Mr. Kendi Onosaya, submitted that the examination which caught across the 20 local government in the state had participants from Adodota local government, Abeokuta South, Ijevodi, 
Abel Kutano, Obafe Miwude and Ifo. Others are Ikbokia, Ogun Waterside, Ikene, Imekwafon, Ijebu East, Ijebu North, Ijebu North East, Odeda, Odo Bulu, Remo North, Shagamu, Yewa North, Yewa South, and Ewe Kuru. Mrs. Chiyombo, who commended the examination team for a job well done, said the results had shown that Ogun Digi class was a success, pointing out that students should always embrace learning of any form. Congrats, sir. What are the things that we still need to work on? What, I mean, we're doing analysis also to see the areas, the local government, that we still need to do a lot of work uh, more with. And that's going to reflect when we go back to schools, because the intervention we're going to be doing in schools will reflect all the things that we have seen through what children have done online. But once again, children, I want to say a big thank you to you. She said that the assessment was part of government effort towards improving and attaining good educational standard. Mrs. Olua Kemi Weti, a caregiver who appreciated the state government for such a laudable initiative, said that the DigiClass organized by the government during the lockdown really increased the morale of students. Sequel to the recent reopening of the state forest reserve, Ogun State Government says it will not be business as usual for those engaging in illegal farming, settlement, and other human activities which are detrimental to the proper forestry growth, management, and development. Commissioner for Forestry, Honorable Tunji Akinosi, represented by the Director of Forestry Regulations and Utilization, Mr. Tayo Alamu, stated this when he led a task force on an inspection, monitoring, and enforcement exercise to cut down freshly planted cocoa and plantain trees in the elephant concession area, Baoku and Koride villages, all in J1 Forest Reserve. He said stringent attention to land down, to laid down rules would be applied when offenders are caught deforesting the reserves, saying stricter measure had been put in place according to the extant laws towards ending the annuals acts of forest degradation and degeneration in the state, just as stiffer penalty awaited culprits. We had an information that many of the farmers that have once said they will abide up by our rules and regulations have started to do the opposite thing again. We have to be there by ourselves. That what makes us to be here. Uh, you can see we destroyed some uh, fresh cocoa being planted. Equally, uh, the, 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 the residential building is not allowed, especially the one with the corrugated sheet. The team also pulled down four new illegal structures in Shoju Kuduru area in J1, while a motorcycle of a corporate who escaped arrest was confiscated by the task force. The commissioner attributed the success of the enforcement exercise to the strong political will of the governor Dakwa Biodun led administration to have a decent state forest reserve devoid of improper human activities. The Petroleum Products Pricing Regulatory Agency has announced a new price ban of 140 naira 80 to 143.143 naira 80 kobo per liter for premium motor spirit, also known as petrol. The PPPRA in a circular dated July 1st, 2020, to marketers said after a review of the prevailing market fundamentals in the month of June and Considering marketers' realistic operating costs as much as practicable, all marketers are advised to operate within the inductive prices as advised by the PPPRA. The agency, on May 31, 2020, announced a price band of 121 naira 50 kobo to 123 naira 50 kobo per litre of the product sources at the Abuja headquarters of the agency, said. The rise in petrol price for July was primarily due to the increase in global crude oil prices as PMS had been deregulated. 
President Mohamed Buhari has warned political appointees and other government officials against using their positions to bestow undue advantage on anyone seeking government jobs. According to him, using their positions for undue advantages and other favors was unethical to the character of the administration. It was reported that members of the National Assembly had worked out the Minister of State for Labor, Employment and Productivity, Festus Kiamu, during an investigative hearing over the 774,000 jobs offer of the federal government. The program seeks to employ about 774,000 youths for three months, and they would be engaged in unskilled jobs such as sweeping streets, clearing drainages, controlling traffic, and road construction, among others. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, conveyed Buhari's position in a statement sent to journalists in Abuja on Wednesday. Meanwhile, the National Assembly has announced the suspension of the Special Public Works Program under the National Directorate of Employment to cushion the effect of COVID-19 pandemic. President Mohamed Buhari had approved the engagement of 774,000 Nigerians under the scheme. By the arrangement, 1,000 Nigerians who would earn 20,000 Naira each on a monthly basis for three months are expected to be recruited in each of the 774 local government areas of the country. The program was expected to take off in October this year, but the nation's parliament said the program has been suspended following the disagreement between it and the Minister of State for Employment, Labor and Productivity, Festus Kiamu on Tuesday. Nearly 78% of Russian voters backed constitutional reforms that could keep President Vladimir Putin in power until 2036, election officials say. With all the ballots counted, 77.9% voted for the reform package and 21.3% against. The Electoral Commission said the reforms will reset Mr. Putin's term limits to zero in 2024, allowing him to serve two more six-year terms. Opposition figures denounced the vote, saying he was aiming to be president for life, a claim Mr. Putin denies. Into the world of sport now, Team Nigeria has added to the number of athletes that will compete in the table tennis event at the Paralympic Games in Tokyo after Ishao Ogunkunle and Thais Obiora are confirmed among the list of players that qualified based on their world ranking by the International Table Tennis Federation, ITTF, from the 2019 African Championships held in Egypt, which served as the continental qualifiers, five Nigerians picked their tickets, Tajuddin Agumbiade, Olufemi Alabi, Ahmed Koliosho, Victor Farinloye, and Thais Obazwaye, after emerging champions in their various classes to secure automatic entry to the Tokyo Games. In a statement signed by ITTF para table tennis events and classifications manager Pablo Perez, Nigeria was listed among the 40 countries expected to compete in the table tennis event of the Paralympic Games. And let's tell you that the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. Don't forget, you can follow us on our social media platforms for more news and updates. We are on Apple, Roku, Windows, BlackBerry, Facebook, and Android devices. You can also watch us live on our website, www.ogtv.com.ng. That's it on our midday news. Many thanks to you for staying with OGTV News. We'll bring you more news in our subsequent bulletins. I am Ito Fabadu. Enjoy the rest of your day.
e ka san e si ko ise oni ero yin wa fun ti osan oni la mo wa fun yin lati le ise television kile ogun ni ilu abe okuta fola addition of grain ni oni ro yin yin awon eyan o ko di ni egberin o di mewa ni awon eyan o ti won to se ni arun corona ni ile nigeria eyi ti o je ki awon ti won tun ni arun na ba yi ni orilede yi le ni egberun merindin logbon ti o si je eyi ti o po julo ni ojo ko soso ni asale ojo ru ose yi ni ajo ti o ngbogun ti ajakale arun ni ile nigeria bi oro na ja le lori ero abeye fun re nigba ti o nse atupa le bi arun na ti wa lawon ikinle gbogbo orilede yi ajo ohun toka re wipe awon ipinle marun to le waju lori oro na ni ipinle delta eni meridin ni adosan eko pelu ogofa eniyan enugun pelu eni meridin la adorin edo pelu ogota eniyan ati ogun pelu eni metal ilogoje awon ti o ku ni kano peni eni pelu eni mokole ilogoje kaduna pelu eni mokondin ilogoje Odo pelu eni metal logbon rivers pelu eni meji le logbon bayelsa pelu eni mokondi logbon imo lo ni ogun eniyan kuara ni eni meji din logun oyo ni eni mokanla abi asini eni mewa ni bayi o ipinle ti arun na ko ti po ni benue to ni eni mefa gombe ni eni merin yobe bauchi ati kebi lo ni eni meji meji eni marudin la adorin lo sese ni arun na ni olu ilu ile wa abuja amosha o ko le ni riwo di merila ni awon ti won tin ni ki won o ma re ile won leyin ti won ti gba itoju ti o peye eyi lo je ki ye awon ti won ti yonda lati ma re ile won leyin itoju ti o peye na le ni egberun mewa bi o ti le je wi pe awon metala miran ni won to se pada ni emi won sowo awon ajo ncdc wa ni eni metal ilegbeta ni apapo awon ti won pada nu emi won sowo arun corona latale si bi won ti si awon igbo oba ni ipinle ogun ije ba ipinle yi ti ni oro ohun koni ri bi ti ateyin wa mo fun awon ti won se ise agbe lona ibo fi mu ninu igbo oba ninu igbo oba na ti wi pe gbogbo awon ti won so igbo oba na di ile ati awon awon miran eyi ti won se awon ohun ti koto lawon igbo oba na ni ki won o lo ti owo omo won bo aso nitori de gba soke ati isakuso awon igbo oba na won la bujuto fun oro igbo oba ni ipinle ogun honorable tun je akin osi eni ti a dari oro igbo oba ni ipinle yi owo eni tayo alamu soju fun lo toka yi lati ko ti o le waju igbimo agbofinro lati lo se abewu si igbo oba na lori igige awon igi koko ti won sesegun pelu awon igi ogede ti o wa ni agbegbe ti won fi sile fun awon irin lati ma ri bi jesi ninu igbo oba na ni awon abule eshike bauku ati korede ni igbo oba ti j1 oni ile ise na yo sele awon ofin eyi ti o wa ni le lori ejiya fun eni keni ti o ba wo igbo oba ipinle yi lona ito iko na lo tun wo awon lo tun wo awon ibudo kan pale ni agbegbe soju kodoro ninu igbo oba ti j1 nigbati owo si ti alupopo darun kan ti o na papabura ninu igbo oba na ala boju tu awon wa salaye wi pe iko agbofinro na se asiyori nitori atileyin ti ori gba lati odo igimo isakuso ti omo oba dapo abi odun le waju fun ni ipinle ogun 